In the year 1511, the supervisor of Martin Luther's monastery, a man named Johann Staupitz, started encouraging him to take a position as a professor of theology at the University of Wittenberg. Eventually, Luther accepted, and one of the first classes he taught there was on the hymn book of the Old Testament, the Book of Psalms. Now, at the time, Luther's theology was still pretty weak when it came to understanding how sinful people like you and I can have a right relationship with a perfect and just God. But what he really started to understand from his studies in the Psalms was how awesome and invincible God really is. One psalm in particular that struck home with Luther was Psalm 46, which talks about God as our refuge and our strength, a fortress in whom we can find safety even if the whole world is in turmoil. And later on, once Luther had discovered the truth that righteousness comes through faith in Christ alone and knew that there were some dangerous false teachings in the church that needed to be addressed, he fell back on the Psalms and the mighty God that they presented as his source of strength and confidence in leading the Reformation. Psalm 46 became the basis for his champion hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. Those truths that Luther found in the Psalms are also true for you. God is your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, though all the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, you need not fear. For the Lord Almighty is with you. The God of Jacob is your fortress. May God be your source of security and strength. He gives you the victory over sin through Jesus his Son and strength to stand up for what is right. Even in the face of adversity, the words of the Psalms can fill you with confidence. God is your mighty and invincible fortress, and he will not let you fall. No one can snatch you out of his hand.